when you're working with large amounts of data, sometimes what you'd like to be able to do is to see information in one part of a worksheet and another part, even though maybe they're a couple hundred rows apart or even thousands of rows apart or columns far apart. A couple of ways to pursue this. If you're in kind of a hurry, would you like to split the screen just easily top bottom? Click in the middle more or less somewhere. It doesn't make any difference. For example, here, one way to do this is above the vertical scroll bar on the right hand side of your screen, just above the arrow, I'm sliding the mouse up here slowly on the right side, put the mouse right there. If you double click right when you see the arrow being a two way up down arrow, this automatically introduces a split screen above the active cell. And now on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see two scroll bars. So in the lower part, I'm scrolling using the mouse wheel, I'm scrolling down to row 150, 180, whatever, or maybe I'm going to drag that scroll bar. I want to see these people here, these project and contract services. Meanwhile, I also want to see these people. They are quite a few rows apart. That's just fine. And strangely enough, we can scroll, you know, call it upside down, whatever you want to call it. But we, you know, we're looking at data on the bottom of the screen. Maybe it's near row one, we're at row two, that sort of thing. And in the other part of the screen, we're looking at data elsewhere. So sort of a topsy-turvy kind of approach. Unlikely to use this too often, but we can do this. We can scroll independently on either side of the screen. Any changes we make to the data, of course, occur in the actual data. And this particular view has nothing to do with printing. How do we get rid of this? Simply double click it. Another way to use this, not necessarily better, perhaps not as fast, is at any time when we do not have a split screen, we can point to the split screen button and drag it to wherever we want and let go. Sometimes it makes sense to split a screen left, right. Now we might have titles here, we might not, that's not the issue. And even if we've got merged titles, that's not going to get in the way. So how do we introduce a vertical split? In the same way that we can use the horizontal split, we might say, well, let's split the screen more or less 50-50. Maybe we'll click somewhere here in column E. And the vertical split indicator is to the right-hand side of the horizontal scroll bar in the lower right-hand corner. So right there's the button. When you slide the mouse over that and see the double left right arrow, double click, and we're about to see a vertical split to the left of the active cell. There it is right there. Here we have two horizontal scroll bars at the bottom of the screen. So on the left side, we can scroll left and right. On the right side, we can scroll left and right. And sometimes we come up with some interesting angles where we're viewing the column A data next to the column J data. You have your reasons for doing this. I think it probably makes more sense to suggest that if you've got a worksheet with many, many columns, you might want to see data, for example, in columns A, B, C, D, whatever, on the left side, and at the same time see data off on the right-hand side in other columns. We get rid of the split by double-clicking. We saw a horizontal split. We saw a vertical split. Can we do both? Sure can, both at the same time. We could use this technique by dragging down this way or double clicking or dragging this or double clicking. Now we've got a four way split. There are four scroll bars now. If you're interested in chaos and confusion, this may be just the ticket. I think it's a bit weird to be doing both of these at once, but you might have your needs. Just to prove a point here, you could be seeing the very last row in this worksheet and the very last column there it is, XFD1048576. And you could also be viewing A1 in the upper left-hand corner. I'm not sure if that proves a point, but it does suggest the idea that by using these techniques, you could see any two cells in the worksheet at the same time. And when you've got formulas tied together that reflect on one another, sometimes this could be useful. But I think it's more useful to have either a horizontal or a vertical split. Now, a similar feature, and yet different in many respects, and I think for most people more useful, is simply to freeze the panes. We would like to scroll up and down here and maybe always see rows one and two. Maybe we'd always like to see column A as well. We can do it different ways. If we simply want to freeze the top row, titles like this are going to get in the way. I'm going to take this out for the moment. We might want to put it back later, but I'm going to delete that because the feature does work a little bit better in its innate way if we don't have a separate heading like that. On the View tab, we can simply do what? Freeze panes and freeze panes. 
or just for what? Freeze top row. Now it doesn't make any difference where the active cell is. If we freeze the top row, slight visual change there, we can scroll up and down and always see row one. In addition to that, or instead of that, we might even freeze the first column and we can scroll leftward and rightward quickly and easily this way as well. If we want to remove the feature, the undo capability has nothing to do or does not record these actions. So undo doesn't help here. We have to go back here and unfreeze the panes. If you click on cell B2 and then use this feature and freeze panes, it automatically freezes everything above and to the left. I think that's what a lot of people need in database type lists. They frequently want to freeze the top row and the left column. So there we are. Fast, easy to use tools that give us some perspective on our worksheets and allow us to navigate back and forth pretty quickly and easily to see the data better.